Hey, we're back for another episode of week two, Fader Follow Craig. Here's some highlights from week one. Uh, week one's in the boot books. Two major games, in my opinion, that took place this weekend. The first one, New Orleans versus Green Bay. Or should I say New Orleans versus who? 28, 38, I'm sorry, 38 to three. Jameis Winston threw for five touchdown passes. Aaron Rodgers, zero touchdown passes. Actually, Aaron Rodgers was actually even pulled from this game. We don't even know when the last time that happened. But it wasn't even a game. It was 38 to three. It was a stomping by New Orleans over the Green Bay Packers. Second big game of the weekend that I looked at was the Steelers versus Bills. Steelers came out on top 23-16. Josh Allen, potential MVP. A lot of MVP talk for him about the season. He threw for 270 yards, one touchdown. So not great, not good. It's not good if you bet him to throw three touchdowns. He didn't even come close to that. But Steelers came out on top over the Bills, 23-16. Other highlights this week in the league. Uh, the Chiefs survived a scare from Cleveland for a 33-29 win. Uh, Tyreek Hill covered on all prop bets that were out there. Another big one out there this week was Matthew Stafford and the Rams. Last week I said the Rams will win the Super Bowl this year. They crushed Chicago. Stafford covered on his prop bets for this week. It passes and yardage, that's an important thing to note. He had 321 yards and three touchdowns. He covered on both. Other games out there, the Patriots, they did not cover as the underdog. As the underdog Dolphins won 17-16. Rookie quarterback Mac Jones showed he can play. Uh, yeah, a lot of good things to see there with Mac Jones playing this year. Uh, look forward to seeing what the rest of the, the year brings for him. Led by Chandler Jones and his five sacks, the Cardinals spanked the Titans. Murray threw for four touchdowns and DeAndre Hopkins caught two of those touchdowns as the Cardinals won 38 to 13. Vegas versus the Ravens, great game. Overtime win for Vegas. They won 33 to 27. Josh Jacobs, who was sick all week, had two touchdowns on the ground for Vegas. Looked like a great atmosphere in Vegas. The first regular home season game in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium, and it looked great watching it from TV. Looked like a lot of crowd, a lot of excitement. Good job for everybody in Vegas getting that team up and running. All right, beat the marketing director. Week one is in the books. I ended with a respectable eight picks correct. Uh, there were 306 individuals that had higher than eight picks correct. Kudos to everybody that did beat me. Uh, three individuals actually had 13 picks right, so good job to those guys. Um, anybody that beat me, so those 306 individuals, they will get $20 in slot play. That $20 will be automatic loaded to your card starting tomorrow, Wednesday, when we open up the door, and it'll be valid until Friday at midnight. So if you're one of those 306 individuals that did beat me, just come on into the casino. Your slot play is automatically loaded onto your card. Uh, take a picture of your receipt. Bring it in, I'll sign it, keep it, frame it, because it's not going to happen again, all right? Let's beat the marketing director, but I just gave you guys a free week there. I'm going to turn on my uh, NFL power this week and make sure nobody beats me. All right, my picks will go out today for week two. You can find those on social media or on our website if you want to print them, download them, keep them, take a look at them. Uh, but my picks will be out today, same as before. You come on into the kiosk, select beat the marketing director, pick your games for the week, and we'll game on. Again, I challenge everybody to come on in and try. Congratulations to all those 306 individuals that did have higher than eight picks this week. All right, with week one in the books, looking at some stats, the underdogs won nine games last weekend, and against the spread, they went 12 and four. So it was a good, good week to pick the underdogs. Looking ahead at week two, we have uh, my top three games, we're looking at Cleveland versus Houston. Cleveland is favored by 12 and a half. I'm going to take Houston with the points. Uh, second game, Atlanta and Tampa Bay. I'm going to take Atlanta getting 12 and a half points as well. Uh, and the third game I'm going to take a look at is Minnesota and Arizona. Arizona is favored by four and a half. So I'm going to take Minnesota getting four and a half points. Those are my three top picks for the week. Make your own picks. Choose if you want to fade or follow me.